Hey guys, how's it going? It's Dagger. So today in this guide video, I'm going to be showing you where to find your Natalia's Vengeance set dungeon portal and how to do it. Uh, so we will need to be in Act 1, and once we're in Act 1, we're going to go into the Wartham Chapel Cellar right here. And once we are in there, we're going to make it outside. Whoops, wrong scale, wrong scale, sorry. Uh, we're going to make it outside, it's very fast and easy, and once we make it outside, it's actually just to our right, right here. So let's go inside. Alright, so once we are inside, we have a few objectives right there, kill an X amount of mobs, and then maintain rain of vengeance for 60 seconds, which is pretty easy, and do not take any damage as all, at all. So you can see the elite mob right there, he does the wormhole thing right there, right? That is the only thing you need to watch out for, because that is the only thing that will ever do damage to you, period. It's not it's not the fact that it's going to do damage, it's, it's the part where it's, it's going to suck you in, wherever you are, that's the part that will register as damage. So so it doesn't matter even if you use like uh, the um, Countess Julia's cameo because usually that will negate that, right? But in this instance, it does not negate that at all. So what you want to do is you want to equip the uh, Crashing Rain Belt, which is brand new to the Hunter, as you can see in the equipment slot. Uh, what it does is and it will do an extra amount of damage on top of your Rain Avenger, so like around three to 4,000 amounts, right? So it will kill the elite mobs really fast. Right there, see, it just it just kills it right there. Um, so that's how you will take care of the elite mobs really easily without having them to, you know, summon their vortex portal. Even if they do summon the vortex portal, you, if you kill them before the the time runs out, before it sucks you in, you're still fine. It won't do any damage. It won't suck you in at all. Um, so that's how you deal with the elite mobs. Okay. Um, for the rain of vengeance, it's actually super easy. Okay, so whenever you do a Reign of Vengeance, you have a cooldown, right? And whenever you hit enemies with your arrows, uh, elemental arrows, whatever arrows it is, it will, well, it, will, it will deduct two seconds from that Reign of Vengeance, from the uh, set bonuses, right? Um, not only that, I got a lot of cooldown reduction, so it's super faster. And then also, what to, what uh, rune you want to use for this is actually called Dark Cloud. Um, now normally, Reign of Vengeance will only have a 5 seconds window before you have to cast it again. Um, so that's, in my opinion, is a moderate amount. Some will have 2, some will have 3, some will have 4. Dark Cloud rune will have 8 seconds, so that is a huge, huge window for you to be able to do that. Um, so. That is my that is my you know um, recommendation for you to use. If you want to use anything else, that's cool with me. But once you are done with the rain of vengeance, you know objectives, just go all, go all out and then be very careful of the elite mobs. You have a lot of time. See right there. See see he just came out of nowhere. He just came out of nowhere. I, w I would have lost if I did not use uh, rain of vengeance on his ass right there and then. Um, so yeah, this is it's pretty easy. You have a lot of time. Don't worry. Don't worry, you have a lot of time to go through everything. Just be care very careful. Kill the elite mobs as fast as you can with your Reign of Vengeance. And you'll be Gucci. You'll be super Gucci and we'll be, be fine. Anyways, that is it for the guide video. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video and it helps you out, a thumbs up would definitely be appreciated. And, um, hmm. Oh, uh, oh, if you have any questions or comments, please leave them down below. And don't forget to press subscribe. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye. Nat Natalia. Natalia.